In the middle of Gifu Prefecture lies Gujo Hachima, the water city. This city has formed around the Yoshida River and its waters flow all throughout the city in little rivers, channels and gutters. And the water is actually so clean that there's koi swimming right in the gutter. It's quite a magical scene and honestly the whole city just seems like it's out of a fairy tale. So come along as we explore this amazing place. So check out the bus schedule in the countryside of Japan. It's uh, very empty. <laughs> so we're gonna grab this one, 908. And then after that there's one, two. For two and a half hours there's no bus. <laughs> And the latest bus is at 8. So it's quite a trip to get to Gujo from here. First we have to take a bus ride and then we also have to take a train ride. But fortunately the scenery is absolutely amazing. Here it is the station. It's uh, very cute and there's uh, nobody here. Now just look at this adorable little train. It's just a single car and it has a lot of Gujo decoration on it. I don't know what it is about Japanese trains, but they are just so peaceful. And with a view like this, it makes it even better. This train ride is already a really nice experience just by itself. You pass through these small little towns, through tunnels, past rivers and over bridges. The train driver even makes a little announcement whenever there's a nice view so uh, you can get your camera ready. And then after about 30 minutes we finally arrive in Gujo Hachima. If you look at Google Maps you might think that Gujo Hachiman is a big city but it really has a small town vibe and it's so peaceful there's almost no one on the streets just people living their daily lives. And uh, yeah, the pictures speak for themselves. Look how cozy this place is. So after a long journey, we have finally arrived in Gujo Water Town. There's water everywhere. There's a little stream here. There's a little fountain here. And it's really charming. The, the streets are also really charming, marbled streets. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see more of this cute little town. that yeah nothing completely quiet the highlight of Gujo is definitely these really cozy relaxing streams with fish swimming in it and there's even some vending machines so you can feed the fish I think the fish are well fed because uh, they don't seem that eager to eat the food but at least Mariko could make some friends So let's see another one of the big famous spots of Gujo. So here we have Yoshida River, Yoshida Gawa. And uh, in summer kids actually jump from here. It's, uh, it's really high, that looks really scary. <laughs> I would not have the guts to do that. But uh, yeah, it's so beautiful. There's these buildings. I think people just live here or there are restaurants. They are right next to the river and you also have small little waterfalls everywhere. Yeah, just this bridge alone is uh, worth it to go to Gujo in my opinion. Really amazing, beautiful spot. I think this little street is one of my favorites in all of Gujo. You can see how people live right next to the water. The water really is part of their daily life. And uh, yeah, just look at this. This looks straight out of a fairy tale. So besides the river and the fish and all the water, Gujo is famous for a few more things and one of them is Gujo Hachiman Castle. This castle lies on top of a mountain overlooking the whole city and uh, yeah, just look at it, it looks absolutely amazing. Unfortunately it was closed though. But there is one more thing that Gujo is famous for and that is the Gujo Bon Dance, one of the big three dances in Japan. And we're gonna get a live demonstration right now. So 
this is just one of the few dances that is performed during the Gujo Odori festival. The whole town of Gujo kind of transforms and everyone comes to Gujo to dance all night long. I think this is where Japanese get their long life from, dancing all night. Yeah. Watching those people dance made me real hungry, so let's find some food. So next up Mariko wants to eat this Hida beef hot plate soba. And it's inside this really cute little restaurant. Hida beef soba and this black thing that it's on is actually a roof tile so uh, that's actually the name of the dish in Japanese I'll try a little bit no 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 Martino you sh you uh, uh, uh. this is soba uh, uh, sorry not yakisoba uh. all right take two <laughs> I'm supposed to dip this in here, it's not yakisoba. Yakisoba is uh, without dipping. No, it's soba. I, uh, I don't have a refined enough uh, taste to know the, the quality, but it looks very high quality. So, uh, yeah, Maniko, you can enjoy. Maniko can enjoy it a bit more than me. <laughs> the presentation here is really luxurious, so. Uh, my matcha comes in this really nice bowl. I'm gonna have a taste right now. Oh, it's really creamy. But it's not that bitter. Sometimes it's a little bit too bitter for me. But yeah, this is really nice. I can taste the quality in this one. So that's it for our little lunch at Sogyan. The yeah, the quality was so good, the service was good, and the atmosphere was really nice as well. Even with my shitty $100 camera, everything looked so good. The light coming through the windows onto the wood. Yeah, you can take some epic Instagram shots there. So uh, I can highly recommend to go there if you're into that kind of thing. And for our last spot of the day, we are visiting one of the many temples in Gujo Hachiman. This is Jionsenji Temple, and it's famous for its garden because there is a beautiful waterfall. I do have to say, even though this waterfall is quite tiny, it still is really relaxing and uh, it's just pretty cool to have a waterfall in your backyard. And you know what they say about waterfalls, the size doesn't matter, it matters what you do with it. So Jionsenji Temple, epic relax spot, especially in the autumn, it looks so nice with all the leaves and uh, you can also take a little stroll through this corridor and take a little look inside of the temple, that's also nice. So evening has fallen or is falling as we speak in Gujo. Our day here is over. We came to this nice spot with the fishes. Mariko is uh, finishing off her last fish food. Uh, I think she made some friends here. They're all waiting for her. And uh, yeah, Gujo. Nice watery stuff. If you like water scenery, canals, little rivers, then uh, yeah, just look, this is your place to go. And um, there's hardly any tourists here, so if you want really quiet, take your time. No annoying tourists that get in your way when you want to take a picture or a video, then uh, good job, it's your place to go. And uh, I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. And uh, let me know, which spot do you like best? This river spot or a different spot? Let me know. And uh, then I'll see you guys again in the next video. Alright, bye bye.